I am going to make a stuffed portobello mushroom caps. Um, I bought these two portobello mushrooms. Well, just the caps. And I'm going to use the rest of my spinach. Some mozzarella cheese. And actually, I saw this recipe. Whoops. I saw this recipe uh, online. And I have some leftover. What do I have? Some leftover turkey pepperoni. That's what I'm going to stuff these. I don't have any cream cheese because that's what I meant to buy. But um, since I have the mozzarella, I'm just going to do it with this. Use up what I have. And if I do it next time, I'll buy some um, cream cheese. But it's going to be a stuffed portobello mushroom. And I'm actually cooking it indoors. Um, I haven't cooked indoors in a while. Um, it's not too too hot outside. It is uh, the end of April. So um, I'm going to cook in my oven. There's Sammy Joe. So I will show you as I proceed in making these mushrooms. It also called for Italian dressing. Um, I'm going to just cover the mushrooms in the Italian dressing and then bake the mushrooms for a little bit and then add the toppings. So so they're a little big for the pan that I had so I'm just going to use this cast iron skillet. Just pour a little bit of... Oop. Okay, I've got the Italian dressing um, on both sides of the portobello mushrooms and I'm just gonna stick them in the oven for about probably 10 or 15 minutes okay I've got the spinach and the pepperoni turkey pepperoni um, cut up and I'm just eyeballing it for those two portobello mushrooms I'm not following exact recipe I don't have any breadcrumbs that I know of but I do have some cooked rice, so I'm just going to add that and maybe that will bind it together with the egg. Okay, I've got the rice in there and what else? And the mozzarella. That looks good. Okay, I've got that mixed up really well, and I'm going to pull the mushrooms out of the oven and stuff them. I'll put a little bit more cheese on top, and then cook it for a little bit longer. I took them out of the oven, and um, it had a lot of liquid on top, so I just picked them up, dumped the liquid. Just... That one's like flat. I'm gonna have to be careful. Well, that looks good. I have a whole lot left over. So, tomorrow I'm gonna have for lunch. Oh no, that's got raw egg in it. Well, you know what? I may make for breakfast. I may throw that in a pan and have an egg uh, omelet. That's what it'll be an omelet. Anyway. I was going to just eat a salad, but I forgot it has raw egg in it, so I'm just going to put a little bit of mozzarella, and it looks good. I think I'm going to like this even better than on the grill, because I was going to do it on the grill. Well, I don't know about that. Everything's better on the grill. All right, let's pop that back in the oven. Okay, let's see what we got here. Mm. Oh, wow. That looks wonderful. Yum. Let's see. I'm going to take this little flat one here. Boy, that looks wonderful. 
Let's see. I don't have my tripod. It's, I think it's in the van, so. Well, it's really, really hot, I'll tell you that. Mmm, that looks good. I'll have to do this again. I think I paid two forty-eight for these mushrooms. And of course, you know, most of the other stuff I had on hand, so this is a great little meal. to get a pizza or fast food doesn't happen so when I crave something I want to buy the ingredients and uh, I want to cook it so in doing so look at my fr refrigerator I need to defrost this this weekend where did I do with them when you buy a package of these and you make one tur one pizza I don't use the whole thing and um, I didn't freeze them, so I found another use for them. I am going to go eat dinner. So thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next video.